you see. So watch the seals carefully. So get ready to read. <laughs> we got what you need. Those shapes and colors, yeah. yeah. And now, it's really time for Diver Don to deliver his delightful dive! I can't stand heights. I can't look d d down. I'm all ready to go up. No, Hank. You have to wait for the big finish. We're already going up to the high wire. And Scarlet Scooter! <laughs> How do I get to the top wire? I know. I will try to jump to the top wire on my scooter. Uh, and over to the top wire. You were wonderful, Scarlet. And I know you can do your dive too, Don. I think you are very brave. And now, in the center ring. We're proud to present the king of the jungle, Leon the Lion, and Larry the Lion Tamer! For the king of the jungle, you sure are a lazy lion, Leon. Our friends at home are waiting for you to jump through the hoop, aren't you? Well, now, why does a lion always have to jump through the hoop? Because I'm the brave lion tamer, and you're the ferocious lion. Back, back. Now, you put that chair down and be careful with that whip. You'll hurt yourself. I know how to get you through. Oh, Mr. Clown, would you come here, please? That silly pig will never fit through those hoops. I beg your pardon. This pig is not silly. He's very smart. He loved Hamlet and Pygmalion. He also knows the difference between big and little. And I'll bet our friends at home know which hoop he should jump through, don't you? Well, if a smart pig can do it, so can the king of the jungle, Maestro a Drumroll. Oh, thank you, Leon. Next time, I'll jump through the hoop. <laughs> My, I've been through, I say, I've been through a lot today. Thank you, Leon, and friends. But it looks like we have another clown who wants to get through to you. Two doors. What should he do? Which door can he get through? The big door or the little door? Our friends at home know, don't you? <laughs> Those clowns, they're always clowning around. <laughs> Why, here's a clown who's not even dressed yet. Well, I'm all dressed, ready to go. Aren't you forgetting something? No, I've got my nose and my smile and my coat, even my horn. You need some help. Does anyone know what he needs on his foot? A shoe? Gesundheit. And something for his head, too. Do you know what clowns wear on their heads? I need a hat. But we have so many. Do you know which hat matches my hat? A perfect match. But what about a shoe? Gesundheit. I'm no help there. Dogs don't wear shoes. Can my friends at home help me? Which shoe fits? The bottom? The middle? Or the top? Well then, which shoe fits? That one? It'll never fit. A perfect fit. You're really smart. Now I'm really ready to go. Aren't you forgetting one more thing? Now we're ready. What's the matter, little fellow? You say you don't get to go on until the end of the show? Well, you don't have long to wait. 
We're almost at the end, and Sarah Seal is going to sing us a song about it. The end of the circus is just as important as the beginning or the middle. It's the same way with words and letters. Just think about the word ring. This is how ring is spelled. If you put the letters in a different order, it spells grin. And you should be smiling because we save the best for last. So the letters at the end of the word are just as important as the beginning. In fact, I wrote a song about it. Are you ready, boys? Every place in the line is important, don't you see? How the letters stand together helps us all to read. They help us to read. See, little clown, you're always important at the beginning, the middle, or the end. Thank you for that important lesson, Sarah. And now we are at the end. The moment you've all been waiting for. Ladies and gentlemen, Diver Don will now devastate us with his downright daring dive. If the circus is almost over, why don't I just climb down? <gasps> Look out, they're going to crash! Oh, oh no! There's no time to climb. <laughs> I'd better jump! Oh, Don, I'm so proud of you. That dive was wonderful. Dive? I did dive! <laughs> Thanks for all your help, Scarlet. What about me? I'm all wet! That was wonderful, Don! And now, for our big finish! Hank the Human Cannonball will... Uh, what's wrong, Hank? My cannon won't light! My matches are wet! Everything is ruined! Sorry, Hank. Better luck next time. That's all we have time for. Thanks for coming to the Readiness Circus, boys and girls. We hope you all get ready to read. Ah, yes, sir. Wait, don't leave. I finally got my cabin lit and... Ready to read, ready to read, ready to read. We're glad you came to our circus. We hope you liked our show. To help you all get ready to read with fun things you should know. Like letters of the alphabet and shapes and colors too. We hope you made a lot of friends and learned a thing or two. Like big and small and short and tall, we're all here for you. At the Readiness Circus. 